So in this example, it is given that using the concept of force between two infinitely long parallel current carrying conductors, we have to define one ampere of current. Now, because it is given in the question, there are two infinitely long parallel current carrying conductors and we have to define one ampere of current. So we will assume that in these two infinitely long parallel current carrying conductors, there is current of one ampere flowing in the same direction. So the situation would look a bit familiar to what is over here. So here we see that in this wire and in this wire, the current that is flowing is, if we assume that it is one ampere in both the wires, so we can establish that there will be an attractive force F between the two wires that will be governed by this uh, basic equation that will be equal to force acting on a current carrying uh, conductor would be equal to BIL into sine theta or vectorically we can also write this as I into L cross P. So we already know that uh, there is a simple way to find out the uh, direction of force if we know that uh, if the magnetic field is in outward direction and the current is flowing up, up in upward direction we can use the left hand rule which uh, is very simple uh, in which if we use a left, uh, left hand and the thumb denotes uh, the force and uh, this index finger denotes the magnetic field and the middle finger denotes the current. So the easy way to remember this is FPI. So this is a technique in which if we align, if we know any two directions of uh, magnetic field or current or force or magnetic field, so we can find the third one. So similarly, in both the cases, we fi find out that in this case, the, uh, the force is towards this wire and uh, in this uh, wire, it is towards the other wire. So it is, we can establish that it is an attractive force. Now, how do we get the value of this forces? We know that the magnetic field due to this wire would be mu naught i upon 2 pi r where mu naught is equals to 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 tesla meter by ampere. Now if we see that the force that is acting on one wire is equals to mu i1 i2 upon 2 pi d where d is the distance between the two wires. So we say that f by l is the force per unit length. So let's calculate that, uh, that for one, uh, one ampere current. So if I write here F by L is equals to mu naught I square upon 2 pi D and I say I is equals to one ampere then now this is an attractive force per unit length I substitute this value as mu naught as 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 i as 1 square this as 2 pi and i assume that the distance between them is 1 meter to get a numerical value so i substitute 1 here and when we do the cancelling we get this so what do we get here we get force per unit length equal to 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 Newton by meter. So we can easily say that one ampere of current can be defined as the amount of current which uh, when flowing in the same direction through two infinitely long parallel wires separated by one meter produce an attractive force of 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 Newton by meter of attractive force now these uh, but but there is uh, one thing that has to be really taken into account that is the wires should have a negligible cross section area and they sh they must be placed in vacuum so this this will be the answer to our question